Merci. <rire> I can't stop thinking about you. Hello and welcome back to Lord Fan Gaming Plays Fable Anniversary. I'm your host, Lord Fan. In this Fable Anniversary Evil Pat Part 26 video, we're doing Rescue Scarlet Road Part 1. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Do not forget to hit the post to be updated and much more. Now, please note this is going to be a long quest. That's why I split it into two. You cannot go back to the guild hall or anything like that until you complete the actual quest. So, let's go ahead and get going. Please know about this uh, prison area when you get to the first two parts, they're undead. They'll keep on respawning. My advice is fight and run. That's all you need to do. Loot I won't mention since it's all augments and of course minor loot. So well, let's go on in. I'm going to go ahead and kill some undead once we get to the next area. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and say this. Just fight and run at this point if you uh, can. If you need uh, help in combat, slow time will definitely be uh, the big old help. We're gonna go ahead and avoid that mushroom and get into the next zone and kill more undead. I am going to definitely say this. I killed a lot of undead. It is worth it. Unfortunately, there's no sewer keys. Otherwise, yeah, I would probably say it's clear the area out. Let's see here. Okay, there's a nice treasure chest. Avoid the uh, fire fairy, I think it is. They're hard to uh, hit. Unless you can slow time and quickly pull out your bow and arrow. Yeah, they're that hard. Now that's uh, dark chain mail. I think that's common in certain shops. Yeah, see the uh, fire fairies. They're just uh, running away, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, fight some more. Then after that, I'll explore and see what is definitely uh, next to uh, go to before getting to the next uh, area. Oh wow, sharpening augment.
Now, once I do get the treasure chest and attempt to uh, use the door, what will happen is I'll have to kill all the undead in the trap room. Once all the undead are gone, you have access to the next area. The next area will be guards, so do be careful because they are tougher than the undead. So I'm going to go ahead and enter this room and wipe everything out. Oh yes, these guards do not play around, so I'm going to go ahead and start snipering them if I can. Time to get some looting rights from these dead guards. Yeah, thanks for the help potions. Yeah, all you are dead anyways. Let's check what's inside. Inside is exactly a resurrection vial. Unfortunately, that will not appear on heroic difficulty. So you know what? There's this uh, nice big room up ahead or path to it. I'm going to go ahead and murder a whole bunch of guards on the way to the exit.
I am slaying a lot of guards. This is uh, really fun. So as soon as we enter this uh, door, there'll be a nice cutscene. After that, I'll explain what is definitely going on. I told you. Touch me again, and I'll wring your neck. Wait, I know you. No, it's a trick. You're not my son. The bastard's playing with my head. But it... it really is you, isn't it? What the hell were you thinking coming here? Don't you see he'll take us both? Never mind. We've got to get out of here. Get this damn cage open. It is time to uh, go ahead and get your character's mother out of prison. And yes, she could fight. And yes, the guards are about the same. However, it won't be a problem at this point. So we're going to go into the next area. Once again, which is going backwards and try to leave this prison. It's not far now, but we must hurry. Nothing ever happens. What the... Next thing we need to do is just simply get to the exit, so there'll be a nice uh, cutscene for everybody to see. So let's go ahead and just uh, do it. Jack. Come. It isn't polite to leave without saying goodbye. Bastard. This child of yours is quite the hero, dear Scarlet. Did you know he's being crowned arena champion? You would have been so proud of him. It must run in the family. That and getting locked up in one of my charming little cells. You disgusting freak. Let him go. He doesn't know anything. Oh, I think you'll find he knows a great deal. You see, the arena seal I gave him has been showing me his every movement. It has been most entertaining. Digging up graves, saving old fools, meeting with that crazy sister of his. Teresa? Yes, it appears your darling little daughter is alive too. She's told him all about the sword, and that wretched bloodline of yours. And now, my sweet, you're going to tell me where the key is. Nice and comfortable there. We'll be back to get you and the other scum later. <sighs> then, we'll have a bit of fun. He'll enjoy it, won't he, Tibbs? Go to... Bad news is Jack and Blaze put you in a prison and you lost all your things and you cannot cast magic. So you want to advance the story? Listen in on this guy. Eat it then. <laughs> oh, and don't try any of that funny Will stuff. It won't work in here. The boss made sure of that. Psst. Hey, you. In the cell, next year. I guess you're the one they've been hot cloakering all this time. <laughs> I could hear you squealing all the way down here, mate. Nothing to be ashamed of. They know their pain here. Wait a minute, I know who you are. You're that Reaper, ain't you? Beat the arena and chopped up that pretty little whisper into hob food, didn't you? Oh, we don't get your kind in here often. What'd you do? Kill a mare? Slice up some pigs. Miserable Better warden can't believe his damn luck. It's his birthday today, you know. The vicious bastard. 
Every year, he has us dragged out of our cells, shows us a little sunshine so we know what we're missing, and sticks us back in. Doesn't do it out of the kindness of his heart, either. They race us round the courtyard and take bets on who'll win. Then the winner gets a trip to the warden's office and... Well, what goes on in there is too cruel to mention. Still, at least you get a good look at his place. And there's more than books and furniture in there. So you're basically going to be doing a foot race. So after the cutscene, you need to do is just run real quick. The other prisoners will fail. So just keep on following the guards pointing you in the right direction. And you should easily definitely win this race. So let's go ahead and do all of this. Look lively, scum. Time to move out. It's race time. And you'd better put on a good show. Some of us have bet a lot of money on you. Win, and we like you. Lose, and you get around in the torture chamber. That sounds fun. Yes, sounds fun. <laughs> Let me hear it. Right, you miserable sods. I want to see a dirty race. Plenty of pushing and shoving. You hear me? Now, get into positions. Three, two, one. Get your finger He's out, in the lead. Puss bag. Catch up. <laughs> Call that running, you snail! Faster! <laughs> Faster! <laughs> Keep running, scum! Someone kill me, please! <gasps> <laughs> Call that running, you snail! <laughs> Call that running, you snail! Faster! Faster! Get your finger out, puss bag! That way, you great big balverin turd! Get your finger out, puss bag! Bravo! We have a winner! Guards! Escort him to my office. The recital will begin anon. Remember, I require total silence. <laughs> Here's the object of this mini game, and it is really uh, simple. Try to get to the notes, and then after that, get from the uh, combination from the notes to one of the three books. You can see it says has a lock. Now, the uh, top meter, that's your timer for this whole mini game. Your bottom meter is your warrant's uh, alertness. So if that fills to red, you're basically busted. I believe you have only two to three chances. I'll show you uh, how to get busted. Who said you could move? I told you, no interruptions. Now, get back. None. Now we're going to go ahead and actually try this again. And yes, that meter will still be filled on the top. So what we're going to do is walk around. If it starts to get real red, we're going to simply pause. Or in my case, I'm being a little bit more cautious. And yet, yeah, you're on a timer too. So we're going to go ahead and stop. Let him uh, go ahead and talk at the board. Now, we got the combination 1483. Next step is going to the book. We're almost out of time, so we will have to be really careful on this. So what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and interact with one of the books and see if it is the right one. It's painfully obvious you have no interest in the arts. My lyrical opus is wasted on your philistine ears. Back to the cell with you. Welcome to your temporary home. The torture chamber. We're gonna have some fun with you. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna enjoy this. The darkness of the cell consumed the hero's mind. And it consumed his life too. Another year would pass by in this prison. Another year of torture. The ancient noble blood in his veins, the power of the guild, none of it meant a thing inside these walls. And all this time 
Jack of Blades was free to roam Albion. The hero would not be beaten. He would be free. <sighs> it's a special day today. You'll find out soon enough. Let's bung him in the holding cells with the others. Well, 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 here we are again. Here's the uh, bad news and worst news. We got caught and we didn't get a prison key. That was our object. Number uh, two, it was rigged for you to uh, fail. Number three, one year later, your character was age one year. So it looks like we're middle age. I might have to visit one of those two uh, temples. I think it's the evil one that could de-age you. But still, here's the uh, thing you need to do. Just once again, wait it out. After that, it's the off to the races once again. Do exactly the same thing as you uh, did last time. Then you're back at the sneaking scene with the warren. And once you uh, do that, you'll be able to, this time, to get the actual prison key. If you're good at sneaking. So I'm going to go ahead and hopefully see if this definitely triggers. I'm just waiting. It might take a little bit long, but it happens like that. So what we're going to need to do is hopefully we get that trigger going, then we're off to the races. And I, did, I need to mention this one more time. The race, it's kind of rigged for you to win both of them. So it's not that hard. So if you're a great runner, you got this. If you don't know how to uh, move in this game real quick, yeah, you're going to have a little trouble. But really, this is like really simple. So it's off to the races. All right. You know the drill. Now get into positions. Three, two, one. This way, is my year. Balverin turd. Keep running, scum. That way, <laughs> you great big so Balverin turd. Move it, move it, Someone move it. Kill me, please. Get I'm your out finger there. out, puss bag. <laughs> Call that running, you snail! That way, you useless yeah, filth! Yeah. Finger out, puss bag! Move it, move it, move it! Get your finger out, puss bag! You again? You really are quite the athlete, aren't you? I look forward to another meeting of the minds in my office. Guards! The recital will begin anon. Remember, I require total silence. <clears throat> it is the same as last year, so first you uh, check out the book. Okay, we need a combination. We're going to go ahead and go straight to the board that has the combination on it. I'm being more careful this time. Last time I was just running like crazy. This time I'm using the stealth feature. 4504, that's our combination. I think it's random. Either way, once you uh, get that number, then you just interact with the book. That's what we're doing next. This time, well, I'll just let you all see. So go ahead and interact with the book, and a cutscene will happen. Gummy slums. It's painfully obvious you have no interest in the art. My lyrical opus is wasted on your philistine ears. Back to the cell with you. It seems the warden has lost his key. We'll keep you in the holding cells until it turns up. Torture will be delayed. Well, good news is we have the prison key. Even better news, we get to do a jailbreak next video. So here's a recap for this video. Now I clear out two rooms full of undead, or I should say two areas. Kill many guards. Rescue Scarlet Rogue, which is the character's mother. Got captured by Jack of Blades. Arrive here at the prison without anything. Passed the race once. Did the uh, stealthy scene with the warrant. Fell on that one. Obviously it was a forced fail after... Uh, one year cutscene, then did the races again, won that easily. Then I did the sneaking around. This time I got the prison key to break out of prison. 
Well, everyone, this is it for my favorite anniversary Evil Path Part 26 Rescue Scarlet Road Part 1 video. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Thanks for watching and have a great day or night. Please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more content like this. If you like what you see, then pick my suggestion on the upper left hand corner or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left hand corner. Have a great day or night and do some serious damage in video games.